So today we will uh, discuss about uh, promises. This is uh, JavaScript concept. Uh, there, when we have uh, many functions, and one function is returning something, or one function is waiting for another in the queue, and other function is waiting for another function. So uh, we use promises to start with. I start with the new file. I'll save as promise.html, right? I write HTML and uh, promise. And I write script and script. Uh, first of all, uh, uh, how we how can we pass how can we pass functions as arguments arguments okay this is one thing you must know uh, for example if i have a function a and it returns return one right uh, another function function b and it returns return uh, to okay. and another function function c and i pass here a and b okay i pass a and b and i uh, return this return a plus b okay return a plus b Uh, then uh, another function result okay. in the result I will call C and I will call A and B okay. I will call A and B okay. so uh, this will uh, I will uh, document I will print it document dot write or console dot log right document dot write this result for example br uh, professional people use console dot write right but we as um, uh, students as trainer we use this I use this because that is not easy to learn okay uh, that is why um, uh, I use this. So let's see uh, if I call result result here, the result will be something three, right? Open in browser. And I don't see anything because there is some problem. Unexpected at line twenty. Line twenty. I will call A and B. Even return. This is return. Hold up. And our uh, after argument is. Uh, this is line twenty four. A and B. I am passing to C, and this is returning some value and if i call this a1 uh, a1 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 uh, then i call it again this is as after argument list something missing okay uh, there is bracket this bracket is missing right control r this three okay uh, we see this three so two and one is three right now uh, i pass these two functions a and b uh, in c function as arguments and a1 b1 as a1 b1 and a and b returns one and two and it will add and return and uh, the result is this right so this is how we uh, pass arguments uh, as functions now 
uh, if I have a function uh, like uh, uh, if I have some, for example, I have a variable, a variable uh, student, variable student, students is equal to Is equal to uh, name of the student is uh, Ali and name of the student is Ali, right? Now, uh, and another, I, I will add another record, another, uh, uh, another column name. Uh, another record uh, Ali, uh, for his cash okay in the array I have this these students I want to add student for example okay so I will write a function add student add student is a function I take the values from some form from HTML form and I uh, uh, how to add the student? I uh, set timeout. Timeout. Set timeout. Uh, for example, three thousand, and uh, I write this function, and I add student. Right, student. I will pass student, and this student will be added in the. Um, This student will be added in the database okay right now this student will be pushed to students right students dot push dot push what uh, student new student so I will pass a student to uh, this array and third student will be uh, added now this is I set time of three thousand, right? Uh, now I add another function, and uh, I call display, display student, display student, and I call it set time out. Uh, I copy this all, and paste here, and set time out students. Now uh, this time I will. Uh, I will create a for each group students dot for each. I want to print it, right? I want to print uh, student uh, student and This student, uh, this student, I will write. I will print student, and I will close this bracket for the. Uh, this, and I uh, just create a variable. Variable, for example, result is equal to empty, and I call result is equal to result plus is equal to uh, bracket bracket and I call ally and ally this dollar sign these two brackets and student dot net uh, so this student value okay now the names will be printed now I call these functions. I call add student. Student. I call add student and I pass uh, the array. Uh, I pass name as uh, okay. Name as 
and I uh, now I call display display student. I call display student. display student. Uh, and this uh, takes one thousand one thousand milliseconds means one second, and this takes three thousand three thousand. Now this will be executed first. Okay, let's see. Open in browser, and uh, there is some problem. Let's see. Uh, reference set timeout is not defined. Okay, there is problem with timeout function. Timeout. This is timeout, right? This is time out. Time out. Okay. Time out. Control R. And uh, display student. Uh, I have to write document dot write. Okay, document dot write, and uh, I will uh, print result. Now control R and Ali and Kash. Only two. It has not added uh, this name because uh, this function has executed first, and there is no way to add the student because it has greater time. It has three seconds, and it is uh, it is uh, one second long. Uh, it is executed after one second. So to avoid this. I, I, I use callback function, right? Uh, how to use callback function? Callback function is I change this. I will uh, call this add student, and uh, this time I will use this uh, display student, display student, or this is callback uh, function, and I will call this display uh, student. Event and this I will call this here, okay. And now I I call these two statements. These two. two. Uh, now the syntax will be changed, right? Now I will call this like the second argument of add student, okay. So I will pass display student. As argument, and it will print the third uh, window. Now, if, uh, because we have to wait for three seconds, okay, three, okay, third has been added. Okay, it it, it is wait for longer time because this student is this is called callback. You can you can write callback over here and callback over here, okay, or the same name as we have this student same. Student name, whatever A B Z, whatever, but uh, that should be meaningful. But uh, now uh, we have a new method, promise. Promise means promise has two states. One is accepted, other is rejected. Uh, either the function is a uh, function returns success or failure. Okay, so uh, I add this in this function, control C, and I call this again. And I write uh, return return promise promise return promise, and in the promise I will have this these two things accept success or failure or reject these two things, and I uh, call this like this right and. I put in, uh, all uh, this inside brackets. Yes. Okay. And I use this. Uh, close the bracket. Now set timeout. Uh, accept or reject. Now I will display if I will not call display student here. I will use uh, if. If uh, student and this, this display, this 
should, this way should not be called if and then uh, student dot name is equal to is equal to empty okay in the form some form some like table form then reject reject with the message name cannot be empty cannot be empty name cannot be empty okay and if it is successful then accept accept and uh, write the save Accept. ECPT, right? ECPT. Accept. Uh, now, uh, if name is empty, then a reject will be called. How to call these uh, function? I uh, write. Add student, and I will write name. Uh, Active, and uh, I will call this as uh, now. Uh, this time, I will have uh, dot then if dot then. If uh, this is success, then uh, uh, some message uh, I I will I will show some message. So I will add a function. Uh, function and uh, this function will be function is document dot write. Uh, I will call it br. Uh, and uh, accepted 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 and i will call a uh, function display student display student okay if it is rejected dot uh, catch there is some exception uh, because name uh, is empty, so we have a function with the uh, error. Function with error, and that error will be document dot write. Document dot write, and I will call this rejected. Rejected, and uh, I will print. I will call uh, display student. So now, uh, now I call this and uh, open in browser and there is, I think there is a problem, line 16, there is undefined is not, line 60 is, yeah, right? Says a type error from is anonymous at student. Okay. I will call this saved three thousand. Everything is okay except reject. And if I remove this, this except is not uh, done. Okay, problem is because uh, this is an object, so I should write new, right? Control R. And uh, it says accept is not defined. Accept, 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 
except is this right control r and it will be accepted and three as three lines will be printed now uh, this is how if there is success then we for example if this is empty if this is empty my name is empty okay save it and refresh this time it will be rejected with the message uh, there is no message why name cannot be empty there should be some message and that message will be plus message and, uh, this rejected so sorry uh, this message is okay we can we can we can print a message here we can we have to embed this error basically if there is some error then this should be printed control r rejected and name cannot be okay and third is not printed now uh because this is empty okay now this is uh, one way another way is if i close this we use async function okay i write uh, again this function i write again control c and this time i will write this okay and i just add async asynchronous call okay asynchronous call and i will I will call await and new promise, and uh, this will be executed again. And at uh, this time, I will call add student. Uh, same. I will I will copy this. this call, right? Control C and Control. C. So this is the modern way uh, to uh, to call the functions right now i uh i will control r at this time accept it and three names right and if i remove this then this will be rejected and the message will be broken name cannot be empty okay now uh this is ac Async and await. Okay, so same thing. The display uh, display student is called, but it waits uh, for three seconds and then display. Uh, so first task task must be completed before the second task. Now I have uh, another uh, for the async. If we have some data, some JSON data, how to handle that? I will write async get users okay get users function uh, function this is a function and get users and I will call variable uh, response response is equal to uh, await and uh, I will call fetch fetch from the URL the URL is I will call this uh, JSON type code, right? And I will go here. And I will just take some users data, or uh, to do's or photos or whatever. I, I if I if I uh, click on this, this is the JSON data, right? And I will copy this and paste here. Okay, users. Now respond to user response. Uh, I will call another variable and this is data, for example, data and uh, response, response dot uh, stringify response dot JSON. Okay, so first of all, uh, this will return JSON and I will call data is equal to, uh, I will call it uh, JSON 
dot stringy file stringify that so it will convert into strings and now i will call another variable and i will call it users or rows or users or users is equal to uh, json dot parse json dot parse data okay this data will be parsed and i will call uh, for loop i will uh, just uh, create another variable count is equal to uh, users dot uh, count a uh, user dot length user dot length and i will call for loop i is equal to zero i is less than uh, count and i plus plus you should not call these uh, uh, length methods uh, in in the less than in the condition because it will be called again and again why not call, call once if there is thousands of records and uh, this function will be called again and again so now um, document dot write document dot write and uh, i will call dr dr plus uh, this is uh, users of users of i uh this is net first of all id uh plus this is br br and uh, i will call name name as plus users of i uh, and this time name. only only two things uh, we we will print this is br and again i will this is how we print this array. Now uh, I call get users. Get users. Get users. It will fetch the record. Control R. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I will call this. Control R. I will based uh, on data get user basing response query simple. No? I will open it again. Uh, this is JSON. JSON dot stringify data. JSON dot parse data. And then I count and count is this. Then user the file document that right get users sync await uh, i should await here also okay. control r so now uh, one id id is here uh, id right id so this is how we print json data okay uh, this is another use now, uh, if I have uh, many functions, particular many promises, okay, variable uh, d1 is equal to uh, task1, one, task1, one. Uh, new promise, new promise, accept, reject, accept, reject. And uh, I call this as uh, this, and I call this here, this one. And uh, this time, if uh, there is, uh, I call this a variable, uh, variable a is equal to false, okay, false. If not a, then I will call uh, if this is true, then accept it. Accept. Accept. And otherwise, reject. Else, reject. Reject. Reject with error. With error right? Now, uh, I have another uh, E2. See, this is task one. Task task one and uh, I will call it again control C 
and I will call the task two. For example, task two is similar, except we get then uh, variable task. There is some problem. Uh, the problem is this, right? Promise task one. These are two tasks, and uh, if I have another task, control C, similar task, control V, and I change the name to three, then uh, I I can call there. There is a function um, promise dot all uh, dot all. All means I will pass array. I will pass array uh, the name of the task, uh, task one, task two, and task three. And I will call then dot then dot then document dot write document dot write. Uh, this is one one task task one completed. Task one completed. Completed. Task one completed. Uh, task two completed. Error in task one. In task one, I call this control C. This will be repeated here. This is task two completed. There is a task. In task one, and uh, now I will call uh, task two, task one, task two, task two completed, and uh, I will call it again. Control B, task three, and this is task three. If there is some error. Now uh, this is then is T H E N right? Then our failure. Uh, this is uh, I should write function function with the message with the message this bracket and uh, messages message message this should be okay. And uh, in the in case of uh, catch. In case of dot catch or failure, this should be good. again function error control C function error error and error message will be printed. Now let's execute this. Task one completed, task two completed, task three completed. If uh, uh, I change this. Control R, uh, error in task three. Okay, if I change this, for example, this condition is false, then no task will be done. Error in task two. If I change this, error in task one, error in task one. So uh, all tasks. For example, you upload something uh, with the requirement. There are three requirements to complete a task: uh, task one, task two, task three to complete a project. If any one of the tasks is missing, then uh, the project will not be accepted. Uh, will not be accepted. So this is this is how. If any one of the tasks is not completed, then uh, the result would be uh, some error. Okay. So this is how we use promises uh, with the async await. Okay. And uh, uh, in the array. Uh, then means there there could be multiple then, but avoid uh, chaining. Okay, uh, then inside then then inside then. Okay, uh, use it uh, sensibly, right? Okay, thank you very much.